So there you are. You're, you're trapped in your airplane. It's upside down. You're hanging from your seatbelt and you got to get out. What are you going to do? Stick with us on Flywire and we're going to check into that. How to get out of your airplane. How to, get, how to escape it uh, when you're in unfavorable circumstances. Hi, I'm Scott Purdue, and today on Flywire, we're going to take a look at how to get out of your airplane, how to e affect an egress from your airplane when uh, you just can't climb out uh, uh, the door like you usually do. We're, and basically, uh, the, there's a couple of recent Bonanza accidents that gave me, uh, started me thinking about this. Um, the one where there was a runway overrun and he flipped over and uh, then the, it just recently happened a couple of days ago from when I'm making this video at Coronado Island in California, which is a really cool runway. Um, it's kind of like landing on an aircraft carrier, and it's got a little hump in the middle. It's a little can be a little disturbing. But uh, an airplane, another Bonanza, overran the runway there and ended up upside down. I got a picture that I'm going to show you uh, floating around on the internet. But what if the doors are tweaked, which, you know, in a upset like that uh, on your back, um, it might have tweaked the fuselage a little bit and you can't get your door open. What are you going to do? Well, on a Bonanza, um, the back seater basically has an option. Both the windows on either side, the Bonanza and Barons, they, they open. You can use them for a vent like that and you can get a little bit of air and that's a real nice thing. Uh, or there's an emergency exit. You pull this cover uh, right here and then you pull the handle and uh, you rotate it up and break the safety wire and this whole thing disconnects and it'll just be hinged at the very top. So that's a pretty cool thing. It's got a way out for the passengers if that door doesn't work. But uh, it doesn't really help the people in the front seat. Maybe you can crawl, climb over the seats, but there's not, as you can see, there's not much room between the head rest and the ceiling here. So what are you going to do? Well, uh, I'll stick it up right here. There's a picture of a canopy breaker tool. It uh, looks like a big knife with a curved edge, and uh, that's what we used to have in uh, another life. You know, when I flew in the Air Force, we had those to break the canopy. If we ended upside down, the canopy opens this way, so if you're upside down, well, it ain't opening. So how are you going to get out? And, you know, you got fuel spilling or something else? Well, you don't have an awful lot of time, so you got to get out of the airplane right now. Uh, the issue with this thing is, uh, this canopy breaker tool, is that it's heavy. It's really heavy metal, heavy steel. It's curved, and the whole idea was is you grab it, and you grab it with the curved edge right next to you, and then you wham it into the canopy, and uh, as much as it takes to break it, and then break it open and then start spidering and get your get out. The thing about that curved uh, blade is is that when it hits something, it's going to do that, and you have to have it towards you so it does that, it goes away from you. Because if you had it the other direction, and you went like this, you're going <laughs> to, it'll go right in your face. Not a really good idea. Um, so how do you do that? Well, we are fortunate in that the, there's these people that created a canopy breaker tool several years ago, didn't really sell very much, and, uh, um, but here I have a copy of it. These guys are selling it now. <clears throat> this is actually billet aluminum. I don't know if it's aircraft grade, but it uh, looks pretty strong. It's pretty light, relatively speaking. It's got a double beveled edge here. It's really sharp. So the idea here is, is that you're sitting in your seat. You can take it, you know, and then bash it against the window. I'm not going to do it. These are real nice windows. So uh, that'll break it. Now, it's not going to break it easy because, you know, you. It, it's, uh, these aren't like tempered glass in your cars. These are plexi, and they're very uh, pliable. So they don't really want to break or definitely don't want to shatter. So you have to have a fine point to do that. So that's what that's for is to get that smash and get some uh, energy behind it. And you're going to have to hack at it several times to be able to break that window out and then climb out. It's going to be a little painful, but at least you'll have a way out, uh, have a way out of the airplane. That if you don't have one of these, these canopy breakers, and I'll put uh, down below, I'll put a uh, link to the folks that are selling this nowadays, and it's uh, Flyboy Accessories. <clears throat> it's a really great idea. It comes with a mount, 
that you can mount it in your airplane so it can be there all the time and you can just grab it and go. And it's not something you have to think an awful lot about. And frankly, if you're upside down, hanging from your seatbelt, don't let the seatbelt go right away. Grab your canopy breaker tool, get your uh, window open because you're kind of braced that way. And then you can get out, uh, let go, you know, hit the ceiling and then climb out the window and run away. And uh, well, I always used to brief in the Air Force that where we meet if we're egressing the airplane is uh, off the nose of the airplane, whoever's running the fastest determines where we're going to end up. And uh, that's how you do it. But you always count heads to make sure you got everybody in the airplane out. And uh, the passengers in the back and the front are basically going to have a different, a different exit. So the good thing in a Bonanza we have this. Uh, but you're not going to be able to kick this, these windows uh, with, your, with your feet. Some of the really thin ones, you know, like Cessna used to put in theirs, uh, you could probably do that, but you're going to spend a lot of time doing it. So what I suggest is, is you think very highly or very, uh, very long and about getting one of these uh, canopy breaker tools from Flyboy Accessories. Give them a shout. It might save your life. Anyway, this is a short one. And I appreciate you watching the video. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe uh, and then hit the bell for notifications of the next video that comes out. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flywire.